Good morning. My name is William Michael Forbes, and welcome to a morning message. I'm a spiritual medium, a channel, and an intuitive life coach. And in uh, my meditation this morning, I was given a download from uh, Mother Earth. Many people know of her as Gaia, uh, but there's really a, a consciousness we can label. But who she really is is this just this essence of love that has an unlimited capacity to be that and do that and give that love all the time. She says that we humans have to move ourselves out of this attachment to our senses and begin to allow ourselves to get connected to the feeling awareness of the other consciousnesses around us, such as animals and plants and birds and air and water. There are different degrees and manifestations of Gaia's consciousness that we call life forms on this planet. Our body is a manifestation given to us through Gaia. And she's saying that it is through consciousness that we all have the opportunity to heal and grow together. This is a time of unity, a time of joining, a time of exploration that can unfold intelligently and with great excitement as we release our attachment to the old models of being driven by our senses and what we think that means being hindered by our past and being empowered by possible futures that we may all share together. Uh, she said there are several timelines that we are currently on as a species right now. Some of them are good, others are not so good. But any timeline can be changed the moment we alter our consciousness. She says, the quickest way we can alter our consciousness is by learning not to live in our past, to learn to embrace the magic of being in the present moment, the magic of what you truly are without the um, clutter of thought in your mind, without the constant referring to the now as something from before. What do you mean by that? She means not getting caught up in seeing how things are now from what we remember our life experience having been. In other words, to not see, I'm, I'm paraphrasing now, to, to not see our present from or through our past. And she's saying, yes, this is right. So to not see our present through our past, but to see the past as it is in the now. And it is from this perspective of now where there is joy and delight outside the scope of the past. You can begin to engage uh, the higher frequencies of love in your expression of being in the moment. All of the uh, symptoms of living in the past are evidenced through pain and suffering. Pain and suffering, while they can be naturally occurring through transitions in my evolution, for I am evolving as you are evolving, as there are transitions in my evolution. They may impact your physical means of expression, but they do not interfere with the fundamental nature of your consciousness, nor your ability to express that consciousness through finite forms. Your form can change, your consciousness evolves. You may think of your body as an instrument that you simply pick up to play for a period of time, and then you put it down when you're done, and you play another one, and you put it down, and you play another one, and you put it down. You have to understand that your body is simply an instrument. It is not the defining uh, um, position in how to know who you are. That comes from your experience of being. And your experience of being can only be felt in the present moment. And the reason I came to this one today to speak to you in this fashion was for you to understand that you must liberate yourself from the past because there is a great harmony waiting waiting to unfold into the lives of all beings on this planet. But it cannot be done through references of the past, of your past pain and your past suffering and your past loss. If you continue to identify things in the present moment from your past, you will continue to reimpose that which is unnecessary into your expression and experience at this time. But one way or another, I am evolving and you may evolve with me or not. What do you mean by we may or not? Uh, there have been many changes in my expression, and the one I'm going through right now is one of 
greater diversity and greater integration and wholeness. That means there will be many more forms, but a greater wholeness. We will be attuning to a frequency of love universally here, and those unwilling to do so in the medium of expression that they currently use will, as they say, fall by the wayside. The expression will not be necessary, will not be compatible uh, any more than you going down to the Antarctic in shorts and a t-shirt would expect to survive. If you choose to stay ensconced in a state of fear and guilt and shame and uncertainty, if you continue to live from your past, you cannot move into this new paradigm of consciousness, which is love-driven. It is consciousness and being in the moment, operating from a place of love, acceptance, unity, and compassion. And it is mindful of its actions upon itself and others. There is no judgment in transformation. There is no judgment in change. The only judgment is in your assessment of the meaning of those changes. I would encourage you to consider that change in the present moment can be exactly what you desire, but must be inclusive in the well-being of all other things that exist in this physical realm. You know, too, that this physical realm is not the only one that you can express and be in. You do not need this physical form to still exist, but you must understand certain fundamental things about your existence in order to realize that truth. One cannot realize the truth if they are living in a lie. So it's very important you understand there is a distinct difference between living in your past and being in your present. They are two completely different states. They produce very different results in your material experience that you call life in this physical dimension. So please, step out of your past, move into the present, remove judgment, remove any conceptions that the very source that gives you life is in somehow separate from you or outside of you. It is within you, as it is within me, as it is within all. And it is your time and your opportunity to step into this vibration of love, this frequency of being that is truly who and what all of us are. This was a very simple message to deliver today. Remove yourself from your past. Live in the present. Do not be attached to your past anymore. Very cool message. Um, thank you, Mother Mary. The, from my perspective, understanding that, that um, you know, that our eyes only see 1% or even less than 1% of the visual electromagnetic spectrum and that our, our ears can only hear about the same, if not less, that, that we can learn to extend our range of perception beyond what our five physical senses tell us we can, right? To see without ears and hear with our eyes is to imagine, to imagine you know, to imagine life that that is possible to all of us. We don't need war. We really don't need it. Uh, uh, our natural ex organic experience on this planet is going to provide us with lots of physiological changes. There will be lots of changes. We have more than enough technology and capabilities as a species to operate as a unified whole now, to literally end the suffering of, of all and, and give everyone the opportunity to aspire to their dreams. It's, it's available to us now. Technology lets, it, technology lets us communicate over thousands of miles now, even millions of miles, as in the case of satellites. So anyway, that was the message for today. And I wanted to say, um, have yourself a wonderful and a joyful day. Um, if you want to know more about, about my channeling, uh, my private readings, the courses and classes we teach, which will be beginning next February, you can go to my website, williammichaelforbes.com, and get all the information you need there. Um, also, every Saturday at 11.30, from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., I have Supernatural Saturday, which I bring this week. This weekend will be with Master Jesus, who's going to discuss the process and principles of healing, which I've been really excited about. And I hope to see you there on Saturday on my YouTube channel live. And I want to wish you a wonderful and a joyful day. And, and thank you for taking the time coming out. And remember to like and Share and share, share this video and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll be in touch with you soon. Much love. Bye for now.